new drivers, both union and non-union. This isn't to scare you, make you nervous. Getting your CDL was one of the best decisions that you made. Trust that, okay? Um, this is just kind of leading by example here, showing you to stay up to date on these websites. Stay up to date on what's going on with your company, what the CEOs are doing. Whenever they post about, you know, and like for example, I'm an LTL. Anything that goes on with Estes Old Dominion, I try to stay up on so that I can kind of get a gauge at what ABF is going to be experiencing. You need to keep an eye on these operating ratios as well, okay? That operating ratio is gonna be a huge indicator. And then of course, when you start hearing things about company acquisitions, right? So big thank you to ABF City Drivers, Leroy over in Pico Rivera, California, Teamster, uh, Teamster David Michaud over in 041 Enfield, also City Driver, and Road Driver Matt Summerlin of Chicago. All sent me these links here. ABF Rates Parent Corporation, or also known as Arc Best, is seeking permission from their shareholders to be able to lower the vote threshold for an approval on a merger and sale of Arc Best. Now, there's a lot of guys starting to spread the rumor around that TFI, T-Force, is going to end up being the buyer merger. And it's all hearsay. I mean, even here in this that I'm reading here, published Mark 6th, 2024 it clearly says right here the corporate positioning could fuel further speculation about tfi international or another competitor acquiring the parent company of 100 year old abf freight so those of you that are new here especially here at abf freight but no matter what freight company or trucking company that you're currently driving at get involved, right? Get over here on what I'm reading from right now is called Trucking Dive, but I also use um, Freight Waves. And then of course, there's, you know, they're always posting on Facebook. So get involved with the Facebook groups. Um, there's a lot of toxicity that goes on in these Facebook groups, I know, but there's a lot of other fellow co-workers of yours, and in this case, Teamsters, that are pretty knowledgeable. And they put some good stuff out there. You got to stay up to date so that you can make moves um, that better serve your purpose for what you have going on with your family. You know, not too long ago, ArcBest was announcing that over on the ArcBest side, not ABF Freight Union side, but on the ArcBest side, they are putting to use these automated forklifts. The autonomous mobile robot units are paired with software allowing human operators to control them remotely. Mode settings for the units also allow autonomous and manual operations. Sensors and cameras allow the units to navigate a warehouse floor, to load and stack pallets, and to move other goods. And I want to make this a point, okay, to you guys, that look at what's going on on the non-union sector. And what about these layoffs with Panther over there on the ArcBest side? I can't find any more information regarding it, but here we are pulling all of their trailers, right? It's all fine and dandy for us. We get work, but as you see, non-union is the first to take a hit when it's coming to this automation. A teleoperator control center monitors the units when they are operated autonomously. Vo Smart Autonomy can be used at existing warehouses, distribution centers, and manufacturing facilities, a news release said. You can look back and fact check me, but you know, the Teamsters have been fighting this automation for quite a few years now. And just last year, was it the year before, we were in Sacramento. automation out of our contracts. Nearly three quarters of California voters support human operators in autonomous trucks. 
In 2023, another important thing to note here is the CEO of TFI, Elaine, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Elaine or Alan Bedard, acquired a company known as DeSeek. I've never heard of this company, but according to what I've been reading, it says that they have terminals in Ohio, Texas, I think I saw North Carolina, and some other states. It's a flatbed carrier from what it looks like. So they use a quite a few different color trucks. I saw black, red, I think I even saw blue. And uh, here's what it looks like there. But here you go. Acquired for $1.1 billion. So new drivers, both union and non-union. This isn't to scare you, make you nervous. Getting your CDL was one of the best decisions that you made. Trust that, okay? Um, this is just kind of leading by example here, showing you to stay up to date on these websites, you know, with freight waves and uh, this other one that I was showing you here. Stay up to date on what's going on with your company, what the CEOs are doing. Whenever they post about, you know, and like, for example, I'm an LTL, anything that goes on with Estes Old Dominion, I try to stay up on so that I can kind of get a gauge at what ABF is going to be experiencing. You need to keep an eye on these operating ratios as well. Okay, that operating ratio is going to be a huge indicator. And then, of course, when you start hearing things about company acquisitions, right, and them seeing actually start to make moves, like if you see them start to change little things in the names, right, if ArcBest was to become, you know, who knows what that would become, but you're going to start seeing changes, especially in the name, like I said, operating ratio, um, because look, I'm here for the pension. If I see red flags, so to speak, I'm going somewhere else, you know, what, as so long as I'm a hundred percent sure that if there's no longer going to be a pension or, you know, if there's going to be any sort of change to healthcare and pension, I mean, I'm jumping ship and going somewhere that I can continue to carry my pension on because that's the whole point. CEOs make billions every single year, you know, they sell companies, uh, workers like you and I, we get asked out while they get to sell equipment, land, you know, it's the list goes on to keep their shareholders happy. It's like, okay, their retirement is all set up for them. And then we pay into this 401k, which I've made videos on before up right hand corner of your screen, but they get us to invest in these 401ks. And it's really just a retirement for themselves because realistically, I mean, what's 180 K at 65 years old, practically nothing. Something to think about some research for you to do this week on your own. Thank you guys for stopping by Mr. By the mile. See y'all in the next one.